Red Bull start to 2022 Formula 1 season imploded in the final laps of the first race as both Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez suffered what appeared to be the same disastrous failure that turned a decent Bayern Grand Prix for the team into a nightmare. Everything we'd seen up to the point Verstappen's car ran into trouble suggested Red Bull didn't have anything for Ferrari and Clerk, Charles Leclerc in a straight fight to go from an expected 30 points for a second and fourth to leaving Bayern with nothing it was a horror show. So what happened? When it became clear Verstappen didn't have an answer for Leclerc, he made a surprise third stop in an attempt to shake up the race that was looking a bit settled. And while that tactic was actually when Pierre Gassi's Alfa Tari got like an engine problem, and allowing Charles Leclerc to make an extra pit stop for his hopes of full battling for the win. The restart quickly, uh, quickly evaporated after failing to keep up with Leclerc. When racing resumed, Verstappen thought he had a bad faith problem with the loss of the power, eventually became terminal and left the number one rebel crawling back to the pits to start its title defense with a DNF. Rebel will of course complete a two-hour investigation between now and next week's Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, but its initial understanding of what happened to appear to suggest it was fuel system related. To make matters much worse for the team, Sergio Perez suffered this exact same problem on the final lap of the race spinning in turn one, what well, could have been a third place. Lewis Hamilton later overtook him and Russell and Magnussen and everyone else, and he also retired later on. Fuel might not leap out, but then the network G change of Honda's F1 new regulation rule for 2022 and the dynamical changes with God is this year, there's also been a lot of change in engine exports. I've called the introduction of the V6 turbo hybrid in 2014, and that's called the introduction of what's called E10 fuel. This year, the engines are running on a fuel that features 10 greener ethanol in its makeup, and that has fundamentally changed how the engines run. So how did this hit Red Bull in the closing stages of the race? The new fuel making engines behave very differently and crucially. It runs at a different temperature than previous fuel, and many teams notice this temperature change proving problematic for fuel systems when running on lower fuel during testing, and they were able to tackle the problem before barring. Red Bull didn't do any low fuel running, nor did computer for race simulation, so it never got to experience the problem before the first race. That could have been a problem, and while Verstappen and Perez appeared to suffer the same problem, the stoppage of the Alpha Tire of Pierre Gasly, which uses the same engine, was not related. That is believed to have been an MG UK problem. So, Verstappen's are the problems. Hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful race.